guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms, and I wanna thank you all for stopping by today. Now, if you are new here, what you're gonna find is a lot of DIYs, thrift hauls, thrift flips, really a day in the life of a small business owner. So if that is the type of channel that you do like, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and then turn on your bell notification. So every Monday and Friday, when I upload a video, you'll be notified. Now in today's video, I have taken five items, a few of those I've recently thrifted, and a few I've had in my stash for a while. I have been on a mission to try to clean out that hoard, and we are flipping them. I'm doing more of a neutral palette today. Uh, typically, you'll find lots of color in my life, but with all that color, you do need to add a few neutrals here and there. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I can't wait to hear what you guys all think. For project one, I found this frame at the Goodwill bins on my last haul. Now, the moment I saw this in one of the bins, I was in love. I thought, I cannot believe nobody else grabbed this. The detail on here, I loved the cream and the little bit of rust popping through. The other thing I thought was really neat was that the actual stand on the back side. So the one thing it was missing though was obviously the glass. It did not have the backing. So I had to recreate that. I did not go out and purchase any type of glass. Uh, what I'm planning on doing here is cutting out a piece of cardboard like this. I just laid the frame down, took a pencil, and then outlined where uh, the frame, the round circle was. And I tried to make it as exact as possible and then cut it out. Next, I'm going to see how well this fits. And you can see uh, the, it was kind of a snug fit. So it wasn't as perfect as I had hoped. So what I did is I laid it down and then I kind of pressed to see, there was a little bit of an overhang and I just pressed with my fingers to make an indentation of where I needed to cut uh, or trim that excess. And that was easy enough. And then it was a pretty close fit at that point. I had this decoupage paper from Roycycled left over from when I did my window and I thought this is going to be the perfect paper to fit in here. I took a pencil and I traced around the um, cardboard piece and then cut out the Roycycled paper. Now I'm going to use Liquid Patina from DIY and I this is my preferred medium when using recycled paper. It just goes on so easy. I have used others and I always go back to the Liquid Patina. Now I'm laying it out to try to make that paper perfect on that round and I'm starting on one end and this is how I like to lay down all my decoupage paper. I work in sections and I work out any of the wrinkles and then I pick it up, add more liquid patina and then smooth out, you know, smooth the paper down and work out any of the wrinkles and then continue all the way across until the whole piece is down. Initially, I was going to use the Badger from the Whispering Willows Transfer because it is the state mascot, but then I saw the flying machine saying on the paper and I thought I'm going to use a bird. So I pulled out this cute little bird from the Whispering Willows Transfer and if you haven't seen that transfer yet, it has, it's just packed full of all cute little um, whimsical uh, creatures and mushrooms and flowers. Uh, it just there's so many possibilities and you know how much I love little birds. So I use that on here. Uh, it also has these little, like the little crowns. So I thought 
that would be something very cute to add to this little bird. So I'm putting a crown on him as well. Now, if you haven't used any of the transfers before, they are super easy to use. You just uh, peel off the backing, lay it down where you want it, and then take the transfer stick and start rubbing. Uh, it They just pop right off of that backing. And then you want to just take that backing once it's on and it's called burnishing. You just burnish it into whatever you're applying your transfer to by rubbing it very thoroughly. I love how this turned out. And then at the end, I do seal it with Big Top. Anytime you're using a transfer, you always want to seal it uh, just to make sure that it is definitely in place. Now we're going to add the cardboard back into the frame and then the nice thing about this is that it did have the little brackets on back to hold it all in place and I just screwed those in and there you have it. We have a completely transformed frame. For project two, this is called a fur stretching board and trappers take these and they stretch the furs uh, on these boards. And I somehow stumbled upon having several of them and I decided I was going to transform this board into a sign. So we are starting off and we are using crinoline from DIY. And I felt like that was the perfect match to the frame that we just flipped. I'm applying two even coats to both sides of this. I'm also using my misting bottle on this side. Uh, th what I noticed at the end of this container, it was a little, the DIY paint was a little thick and by misting it, it just makes it go a little further and smooths it out a little bit more. Now that it's dry, what I did is I took it outside and I used just a piece of sandpaper and I roughed up the edges, I roughed up around that hole uh, and just made the grain of this board pop through a little bit. Normally I would use my hand sander, but I it was dark out when I did this and I just wanted to do it real quick. I wiped it down and then I'm applying an even coat of DIY's Big Top to both sides, letting that dry very thoroughly and then we're going to come back and apply a transfer. Since I opened up the Whispering Willows transfer, I have been eyeing up this little fox and I was looking for the perfect opportunity to use him. And because this is a fur stretching board, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity. So I started off by using um, some greenery on the bottom. I wanted to make it appear as if the little fox was sitting in a bed of grass. So just like we had in the past, um, we laid down the transfer, used the transfer stick, rubbed all over and then once the transfer came off the backing took the backing and we burnished it um, to really just embed it into the piece. I did that for the greens and then I also did that for the fox and I just love how he's just sitting there looking all proud as a peacock. Now I'm sealing it with Big Top just to seal that whole transfer into the board and I always apply one even coat. I felt like this needed a saying on here. I'm breaking out the letterpress set of stamps from IOD. It has three different fonts, so you can pick the font of your choice to go with whatever small item that you are flipping. Now, I went on Google and I searched Fox Sayings, and I thought this one was a little funny. Uh, my husband felt it was a bit risque. So you 
tell me in the comments what you guys think. Uh, was it funny or do you think that it was a little too risque? I'm now taking twine that I had picked up at Walmart and I'm adding just a little bit of the twine on the top to finish off this entire sign. I thought about adding a bow but I thought the twine would be more of like the whole rustic feel to it and I'm just wrapping it around five or six times and then just tying a knot. Project 3, I actually found these on two separate thrifting missions. I did pull them out today because they were the perfect crinoline match. For the two large ones, I paid $2.99 each, and the small ones, I paid $0.99 cents each. So when I found these, I knew right away I was going to use the crockery set of stamps to replicate some vintage crocs. This was actually inspired by Jamie Ray Vintage. So when I saw these little crocs or these little faux crocs, I grabbed them right away because when her and her husband went on a trip to Europe a while ago, uh, they were out antiquing and they found items very similar to this. So I grabbed them to try to replicate what they had found over there. Anytime you're stamping a rounded surface, you do want to put it in something where it will not roll. I had the bag that I had bought these in and it was full of newspaper. So I just snuggled it right in the middle of that newspaper and it held it right in place. I am inking up the very first croc stamp with the permanent IOD ink. I set it down keep it in place and then rub on each side. And I find that that is the easiest way to do that. Just hold it in place in the center and then rub on each side. On to the next one. What you'll have noticed here is the set of crockery stamps comes on one full sheet. And what I did is I actually cut out each crock stamp. I left it right on the backing that it came with and I just cut out each one and I have them all stored together still, but that way I don't have to be pulling them off and on. They're just right on the original backing. This was such an easy flip for these items and I thought about also adding the vintage textures uh, to each one. That is a stamp that has like different crackles. I got a little nervous though because I, I am using permanent ink from IOD and if I didn't like it, it's not like I could just wash it off. I could if it was still wet. Uh, but I, I, like, I, I just got a little nervous, so I thought we're just going to use the crockery stamps, and I think these turned out absolutely perfect. I found these two sugar molds on two different thrifting missions. I thought they were really cool. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with them. I knew I wanted to paint them, change them up, 
And nothing ever really inspired me until I was organizing my hoard and I thought this will be the perfect opportunity to flip them now. So I pulled them both out and I am painting them with crinoline. And here I'm applying two coats of crinoline over the entire surface, including the inside the, each of those little holes. Now, I initially tried to use this big paintbrush in there, and many of you always ask, why do you use such little paintbrushes? Well, I like how I can get into different areas and I have more control over my paint and my clear coat when I'm using smaller brushes versus the big brushes. Now that these dried overnight, I'm going in with one of my favorite set of stamps called Kindest Regards, and we are going to stamp the side of each one of these. I am using the black ink from IOD, which is permanent. I ink up my uh, whole set of stamp, my stamp, and I line it up, lay it down, and then just rub all over. I pull it back, I ink it up a little bit more, and then I line up the wording and lay it back down and then uh, again rub it. Now there is a couple areas where there's a couple spaces in between the wording. What I did there is I inked up just a couple sentences and lined it up and then I ended up just rubbing a couple words here and there and it filled in those gaps and you would never know that there was a space there prior. Uh, it actually matched up perfect. I am now sealing it with Big Top from DIY. Anytime you're using DIY paint, you do need to seal it. Otherwise, it can be reactivated. So with some type of top coat, such as Big Top, a poly, uh, you can use wax, but you definitely want to seal it. So I am going in, sealing all four sides, and then in each of those tiny little sugar mold holes. For my fifth and final project, I pulled this out of my hoard with uh, those sugar molds and I thought this was a perfect opportunity to flip this item. I'm painting it crinoline from DIY and again applying two even coats to the entire piece. Then I'm sealing it with Big Top, so I'm sealing the inside and the outside with one even coat of Big Top. And again, you can use any type of sealer, whether it be a poly. Uh, I am applying a transfer to this. I would not recommend using a wax prior to um, using a transfer. Otherwise, your transfer will not stick. Now that this piece is completely dry, that is the other tip that I would definitely advise. Make sure that whatever type of top coat you're using, it is completely dry before you apply your transfer. Otherwise, you will have some major issues. It will actually pull up the paint and your transfer will never stick. So I let that dry very thoroughly. I am applying uh, a bird transfer to the inside of this bowl along with this leaf. So I start off by laying it out. I lay, um, I actually apply the leaf first and then I apply the bird because I want the bird's feet to actually look like it's sitting on the leaf stem. So I line it up and then I lay it down, rub it with my finger, and then take the transfer stick and just start rubbing like I had in the past. 
and I just love how this looks so sweet inside of this bowl. Uh, I will get questions on whether or not you can use the bowl. I would highly recommend not using it. Uh, this is really for now decor purposes only, not food safe. Uh, even though I do apply a sealer to it, I would just use it for decor purposes. I'm sealing the transfer with Big Top. Again, you can seal it at this point with any type of top coat or wax. And I am just loving how this little bird looks inside this bowl. And I think it will be a perfect addition to someone's decor. My first question for you, what did you guys think of the fox sign? Was it too risque or did you guys think it was funny? I personally thought it was funny. I hope I didn't offend anybody today with the saying. Uh, my husband thought it was a tad risque for my YouTube channel. So um, I just wanted to put that out there right away. I did not intend to offend if I did. So let me know in the comments so what you guys all think. Uh, what did you think of the neutral palette as well? I loved working with it. You guys know uh, my life is full of color and adding a little neutral always helps balance that out. So this week I am going to be tackling more um, booth displays, uh, you know, Black Friday, Small Business Saturdays on its way. Um, it will be here before you know it. Uh, and I have another video to get out by Friday. Uh, Thursday is Thanksgiving. I am heading to the in-laws uh, for some yummy food. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and a happy Thanksgiving and we will see you Friday. Bye!